If you want to build muscle, burn fat, and just get in damn good shape, then click the link in this bio and learn how you can inquire about my online coaching. Now let's get to the video. Don't sleep on your cable pushdowns. For the last month or so, I've been experimenting with the V-bar pushdown on the cable machine, and I have to say I've completely fallen in love with the movement. The stimulus my triceps get from this exercise is insane. I get a nasty pump and I get this almost instant soreness feeling. It's very weird. But that tells me that this movement is very effective for me. Technically, most of the stimulus goes to the lateral head because of your shoulder position where your arms are by your side. But when I do this movement, I feel all three heads of my tricep working extremely hard. The long head, the lateral head, and the medial head of my tricep get extremely pumped when I do this exercise. For a long time, I skipped past the cable pushdown because I just thought of it as too basic of an exercise. And also, the mind-muscle connection wasn't as great on this exercise compared to other tricep movements like a single arm cable push down with your elbow behind your body or overhead extensions with the rope and that was a big mistake on my behalf. These other movements do have their place in training but there's no doubt in my mind that I've left gains on the table from skipping this exercise for so long. The main benefit of the V-bar or the straight bar push down is the amount of weight that you can lift on this movement. The way I perform the lift is a mix between a strict form push down and almost a decline press. So sort of like a JM press but on the cable machine. Performing the lift this way allows for two things, an intense squeeze at the bottom of the rep in your triceps and also a heavy eccentric portion of the lift. When I control it on the way up, especially on those last few reps, I really feel my tricep just ripping apart. And then once I reach failure, I grind and fight to get an extra one to two reps. I've noticed on machines and cables, this is very doable if you stick with it and just grind through the rep. You'll be surprised that you can pump out an extra one to two reps what you thought you could. Those extra few reps are going to be very slow and it's going to feel like you're not going anywhere. But if you stick with it and grit your teeth and really grind through the movement, you'll be surprised that you can pump out an extra one, two, maybe even three reps after you've hit failure. And this is where growth happens. Now if I was to do this with free weights, once I reach that point of failure, I wouldn't be able to grind out another rep. Due to the stabilization and the coordination involved in free weights, it zaps some of your strength. But with machines and cables, these factors are almost non-existent. So pumping out an extra one to two reps after you've reached failure is a habit that you really want to develop if you're serious about growing muscle tissue. Now as the main benefit of the V-bar, the straight bar pushdown is the amount of weight you can lift. You really want to load this movement up heavy and go for somewhere between six to 10 reps. Don't use the rope attachment because that's going to severely limit the amount of weight you can do. So use the V-bar or the straight bar and you're good to go. And also with this movement, you want to treat it like a press instead of an extension. So you want to think of it like a decline press instead of a strict extension where you just move by the elbows. Obviously, you want to keep your form strict. So keep your elbows by your side and don't raise your shoulder on the eccentric part of the lift. But... When you're performing it, you want to visualize it almost like a decline press while you're doing the movement to get that nasty squeeze at the bottom of the rep. And if you perform this correctly, trust me, your triceps are going to be screaming by the end of your set. In terms of strength standards on this lift, I recently watched a video from Alex Leonidas where he recommended a minimum of half your body weight for reps. So if you weigh 80 kilo, you want to be banging out 40 kilos on the straight bar or the V-bar pushdown for sets of like 7 to 10 reps. And personally, I think this is very doable for anyone and they can even surpass that number by quite a lot as long as they stay consistent enough with the movement. I'm currently approaching the half body weight mark myself and there's no doubt in my mind that in a few months I'm going to surpass that number by quite a lot which in turn will give me some massive back arms as Jailhouse Strong would say. And also I'm interested to see how the strength on the V-bar pushdowns will carry over to my other compound presses. But regardless of that outcome, this is a staple tricep movement in my routine from now on. So that is everything I have to say on that topic. Either use a V-bar attachment or the straight bar attachment, load the lift up heavy and watch your triceps blow up right in front of you. So with all that being said, try it out for yourself and see you go from there. Until next time, peace.